Hey guys, so we are starting with Cambridge IGCSE Chemistry Chapter 1 States of Matter. So we are going to cover two topics here states of matter and kinetic particle theory. So what is a matter? A matter is anything around us which has some mass. Mass means how much amount of material is present in the substance is called its mass. And a matter also has the volume. How much space this material is going to take up is called its volume. So depending upon this, we can have three different types of matter. It can be solid, liquid and gas. So one by one, we will talk about all the properties of the matter. Before talking about the properties, we are going to discuss about very important theory, which is called kinetic particle theory. So kinetic particle theory explained that every matter is composed of small particles which are in constant random motion. Here the word kinetic means motion and whenever anything is moving or any particle is moving, it has kinetic energy associated with it. So depending upon this factor, kinetic particle theory will explain three important points. Number one, it will tell us about three states of matter. Number two, it will tell us about the differences in properties of these states of matter. Number three, it will tell us about changes of states of matter, how we can change one state into another, how we can change solid into liquid, liquid into gas, gas back into the solid. So all these things we can explain with the help of kinetic particle theory. Now moving towards the properties of the states one by one. So very first state we have is solid. Solid has a fixed shape and volume. Particles are tightly packed together and they have very strong forces of attraction between them. When they have very strong forces of attraction, they just vibrate on their position. They cannot freely move because of the strong forces of attraction. When they just vibrate and don't move freely, it means their kinetic energy, which is the energy due to movement, is very less. So the solid state have least kinetic energy. They are, these particles are fixed at their positions. And if they are fixed at their position and we try to compress them, we cannot compress. Because already there is very minimum gap in between them. And if we just try to compress them and try to reduce their volume, it will not be possible. So we cannot compress the solid. Second state is liquid. Liquid do not have a fixed shape, but they have a fixed volume. Let's say we take one liter of water. So it has a fixed volume, but the shape of that water will not be fixed. If we are going to take water in the bottle, it will take the same shape. If we take the water in glass, it will take the shape of the glass. So whatever container we have, the liquid is going to take the same shape. But the liquid particles are little closer with some distances in between them. So that is the reason now they can just move randomly as compared to solid because solid was just vibrating, having very least kinetic energy but the liquid can now move a little as compared to solid. So it means their kinetic energy will be little greater than solid. And if we try to compress them and we try to make their particles move closer to each other so that its volume reduce, it will not be easily possible because they also have minimum gaps. So their compressibility will not be possible. Moving towards the gases gases do not have a fixed shape they do not have a fixed volume because the gas particles are far from each other and they have very very less forces of attraction between them when they have less forces of attraction means now they have most kinetic energy in all the three states of matter when they have maximum kinetic energy they will collide with each other. They will collide with the walls of container as well. And in which shape of the container we have gases, they will take the same shape. 
and if we try to compress the gases if we try to reduce their volume it will be easily possible because now they have more gaps between them so we can just compress the gas and we can make it closer so particles can come closer to each other and we can reduce the volume of the gas by compression